Hey everybody, welcome to Miss Allison's Preschool. I am going to show you, the girls think I'm talking to somebody out here. <laughs> Come on Dottie. Um, I'm going to show you what I came up with because I want to take my new bicycle with me on my trip around the country. So, there was no way for me to buy a bicycle rack that went in between my cargo box and my van, or I couldn't get one that extended out beyond the cargo box. So, I had to figure something out. And this is what I came up with. So, wood is easy to work with. So these two stoppers and supports, that's going to hold the front wheel of my bicycle. That's going to hold the back wheel of my bicycle. And then I have these triangle stoppers in between. And this is just a really rough draft, so this is just my idea. And then I got this over here, and I'm going to put a triangle stopper at the end. And I might put another one on the other side for the front tire. But that's what I have come up with. And then this, I don't even know what they call it. It's, I believe it's, might be one inch, that square um, pull stuff, and it's got the holes in it. It comes in L brackets, it comes in strips, but it's really strong. So what I did was I removed my cargo box from its frame, and then I am sandwiching these poles in between my cargo box and the frame to the swing out hitch. So, and then another thing I was having um, a problem with right here, there wasn't enough space between the van and the box. So that was a no brainer, I couldn't do that. And then if I extended my hitch, then that would make it come out further. It would, you know, really lower your weight capacity for your cargo box the further out you go. So that was kind of an option, like if I had to, but we couldn't figure out how to get it higher. So this is what I'm working with right now and I'm going to go ahead and put it together and oh and then this is a pretty old piece of plywood that I have and it's probably like one inch plywood and then I have one of those angle poles right here L shape. And then I'm thinking I'm going to put another one on the other side and that's going to support my plywood a lot better than having it just bare because the bicycle has a pretty, you know, wide area, it takes up a lot. And it's also an e-bike, so um, it's a lot heavier than normal bikes. But I'm super excited that I think I have discovered a way to take my bicycle with me. So I wanted to share how I designed this bike holder. Okay. Well, I hope, whoops, I hope you all enjoyed watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.